In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between RGB and CMYK colors and why that should matter to you. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I design wedding invitations, so printing is really important to me, but we also do certain things that are on the computer a lot. So I'm often creating marketing graphics or uh, website graphics for my clients, things like that. So I have to know about RGB and CMYK colors. Now, the main difference between RGB and CMYK is that RGB colors are additive. This is all in relation to how you make white. And CMYK colors are subtractive. So basically, if you add RGB colors all together, they're going to make white. And if you're going to add CMYK colors all together, they are going to make black. But if you subtract them, they're going to make white. And I'll kind of explain what that means in a second. So the main thing is that RGB, which stands for red, green, blue, is going to be used for things that are on a screen. And CMYK, which stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and K is key or black. Those are for anything that's going to be printed. So if you think about how you like mix different inks and if you've ever mixed paint in school, for instance, or something, um, if you mix everything together, you're kind of going to get like a brown black sludge. So that's how CMYK works because everything is absorbing into the surface of what it's on, whether that's paper or a sticker or a piece of plastic or something else, it's all absorbing into that surface. Whereas if you have something on a screen, there's gonna be light emitted from behind through the colors. So for that reason, if you have all the colors and you're emitting light through all of them, then you're gonna end up with white. So that's kind of how I like to think about it is just if it's got any kind of light emitting, so any kind of screen, you're gonna use RGB colors. So let's show a little bit of what that looks like. I'm here in Illustrator. So I have a white box over here, and if I click into this color, what I'll see is exactly what we talked about. So the RGB, which is right here, these are as high as they're gonna go, 255, 255, and 255, and then the CMYK, you can see is zero, 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 and zero. Okay, whereas if I go into this black box, you can see we have no R, no G, no B. So we've taken all of that out to get black. And then we have all C, all M, all Y, and all K. So that's kind of the difference. If you add all of these together, if you have your top values of all of these, you're going to get white. And if you have your top values of all of these, you're going to get black. Now, what happens if you were to create something in RGB and print it or something in CMYK and put it on a screen somewhere. So I'm gonna create this file and this whole document is set up in CMYK, which is what all my documents are set up in because I'm always printing things. So I always want everything to start in CMYK. That's the best color space for printing. I'm gonna save these out though as RGB and CMYK so you can kind of see the difference. So what I'll use is just export as. I'll choose uh, one of my artboards. export this as, and then you can choose the color mode, CMYK or RGB here. So I went ahead and saved both of those. And if you look at them just saved here, they don't look any different. The colors really don't look any different at all, even though I saved this one in RGB and this one in CMYK. But where you start to notice the difference is if you actually try to use these. So when I upload these to Etsy, for instance, I'm going to see a big difference. So this one is RGB, which is made for screens, and it looks beautiful. It looks exactly like we wanted it to look. But then this one is CMYK, and it looks absolutely wonky. Here is that comparison for you. So this one is going to print really well, and it's going to print accurately to what you see here. But if you're using it on the internet, if you're using it in other screens um, outside of like Illustrator or something, it's not going to know how to handle those colors. And the same general thing can happen if you print a document in RGB, you can just have a little bit of that shift. In my opinion, it's not as dramatic as this. Um, if your colors are showing up a little bit weird, make sure you are printing in CMYK, not RGB. This example from We The Printers will help you see kind of the differences in the RGB and CMYK spectrum. If you think about using a computer, you have all this light emitting, it's really easy to do neon colors, bright colors, really, really vibrant colors. So that's all these RGB pieces here, you can basically see any color on screen that you possibly would want to. When you're printing in CMYK, you're basically going to get layers of dots in cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and they're going to combine to make your image kind of like this if you zoomed in really, really, really far, but you typically can't see them. Um, but as I mentioned, all of this is kind of being absorbed by the paper that 
it's printing on or whatever surface it is that you're printing on, usually paper. So that's going to make it harder to see every single bright color. Um, and that's why it's a little bit harder to print like neon colors, really, really vibrant colors. You can really see in this pink and blue section um, how much duller these are in CMYK. Most of the time, this isn't a huge difference, especially if you're using like a spectrum of colors. If I printed this exact kind of ombre effect, it would probably print really well. It wouldn't be quite this vibrant, um, but it's still going to print really nicely. Um, if you tried to print an entire piece of paper as like this bright fuchsia color, you might start to notice a difference. So when you have a lot of colors, it's not as easy to notice that difference. Uh, but when you are kind of focusing in on some of those bright colors, you might want to use a different printing method uh, that has neon or more vibrant inks. So some of that could be like offset printing, um, screen printing, UV printing, etc. But when you're just doing classic flat printing in CMYK, um, you're just going to have a little bit duller of a spectrum that you can choose from because of the nature of how the paper is going to absorb things. And that will change based on the exact shade of your paper and how matte, how cottony, how absorbent it is as well. So you might find that sometimes cotton papers print a little bit duller than more smooth papers. So overall, you don't really un have to understand like the subtractive and additive version of this. You don't have to really understand how these all go together. You just kind of have to understand that CMYK is always to be used for printing and RGB is always to be used for anything that's going to be seen on a screen. So if you're seeing a difference that's this vibrant in some of your files, you might want to go back and make sure they're an RGB. Or if you're printing something and it's coming out a little bit weird, you might want to go back and make sure it's in CMYK. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what questions you have about printing and watch some of our other stationary and graphic design videos while you're here. Thanks everyone.